Richard Dawson was a multifaceted entertainer known for his charismatic presence on television. Born in England in 1932, Dawson began his career as a stand-up comedian, but his enduring legacy rests primarily on his role as the host of Family Feud. Beyond his hosting duties, he was celebrated for his philanthropy and genuine interactions with contestants, and then it came crashing down. Facts First presents Richard Dawson and the creepy kiss that ended his career forever. Early Life and Career Richard Dawson, born in 1932 in England, had a career spanning multiple facets of the entertainment industry. Before stepping into the spotlight as a game show host, he initially made his mark in comedy as a stand-up. His wit and charm quickly captivated audiences, leading him to venture into acting. During the 60s and 70s, Dawson found success on television and in films, notably in the role of Corporal Peter Newkirk on the acclaimed sitcom Hogan's Heroes. His portrayal of the cunning and humorous Newkirk earned him a loyal fan base and showcased his versatility as a performer. Beyond the success of Hogan's Heroes, Dawson's acting career continued to flourish with appearances in various TV shows and films. He showcased his comedic talents in guest roles on series like The Dick Van Dyke Show, The Munsters, and Rowan and Martin's Laughing. His ability to effortlessly infuse humor into his characters solidified his reputation as a gifted comedic actor. One of his most notable non-game show ventures was his stint as a panelist on the long-running game show Match Game. Dawson's quick wit, infectious humor, and playful banter with fellow panelists made him a fan favorite. His contributions to the show added a unique energy that resonated with audiences, further establishing his status as a television personality beyond the confines of hosting. Dawson's magnetic charisma and genuine interactions with contestants weren't limited to game shows. He continued to diversify his portfolio by appearing in various guest roles on television, showcasing his acting prowess in dramas like The New Dick Van Dyke Show and Fantasy Island. His talent extended to the silver screen as well, where he delivered compelling performances in films like The Running Man and The Devil's Brigade. His ability to inhabit diverse characters showcased his depth as an actor. He was also known for philanthropic endeavors and advocacy work. He was actively involved in charitable causes, lending his support to various organizations aimed at making a positive impact. Family Feud and Other Achievements Richard Dawson's legacy is profoundly intertwined with his tenure as the charismatic host of The Family Feud. From 1976 to 85, and with a brief return in the 90s, Dawson's magnetic presence defined the show's success and solidified its place in television history. Family Feud captivated audiences with its unique format, pitting two families against each other as they competed to guess the most popular responses to survey questions. Dawson's affable demeanor and quick wit became synonymous with the show's success. His ability to engage contestants and create an atmosphere of genuine fun endeared him to viewers, elevating the show beyond a mere game. His interactions with contestants were a hallmark of his hosting style. He seamlessly balanced humor with heartfelt moments, often displaying genuine warmth and empathy towards the families competing. His catchphrase, Survey Says, became iconic, adding to the show's appeal and imprinting itself on popular culture. The show's popularity soared under Dawson's guidance, becoming a staple in households across America. His ability to connect with contestants and audiences alike contributed significantly to the show's enduring success. His departure from Family Feud left a void that subsequent hosts would find challenging to fill showcasing the impact of his influence on the program's legacy. Outside of Family Feud, Dawson's career boasted numerous highlights across various entertainment platforms. His initial success as a stand-up comedian paved the way for a diverse acting career. He gained prominence with his role as the cunning Corporal Peter Newkirk on Hogan's Heroes. It showcased his comedic talents, and his contributions to game shows extend beyond Family Feud he was a panelist on the popular game show Match Game, where his infectious humor and playful banter with fellow panelists endeared him to audiences. He received multiple awards and nominations, including a Daytime Emmy Award for his exceptional hosting on Family Feud. His contributions to the industry were further acknowledged through his induction to the Television Hall of Fame, solidifying his status as a revered television personality. 
Richard Dawson and the creepy kiss that ended his career forever. Richard Dawson's affectionate interactions with contestants on The Family Feud were a defining aspect of his hosting style. But they also sparked controversy and raised concerns during his tenure on the show. Dawson was known for his habit of kissing female contestants on the cheek or lips, a gesture that was meant to be lighthearted and endearing, reflecting his warm and personable nature. The practice of kissing contestants was a trademark of Dawson's hosting approach, often met with laughter and smiles from the participants. His charming demeanor and playful banter created a relaxed and jovial atmosphere on the show, contributing to its popularity. However, this gesture, while perceived as harmless by some, drew criticism and raised eyebrows, particularly in the context of changing social norms and heightened awareness of personal boundaries. During Dawson's era as the host of Family Feud, there were reports and claims that contestants were required to undergo herpes tests due to the intimate nature of the kissing interactions. This practice, if accurate, was a response to concerns regarding potential health risks associated with physical contact between the host and contestants. The controversy surrounding the kissing practice and the alleged requirement for herpes testing underscored a clash between traditional entertainment norms and evolving societal expectations regarding consent and personal space. While Dawson's intentions may have been playful and affectionate, the impact of his actions was viewed through the lens of changing perceptions regarding appropriate conduct, particularly in a professional setting like a TV game show. The allegations of mandatory herpes tests for contestants reflects the show's effort to mitigate any health risks associated with the intimate contact between Dawson and the participants. In contemporary times, practices like would face heightened scrutiny and prompt discussions about boundaries, consent, and the responsibility of those in power. It's essential to contextualize these incidents, though, within the time frame of the show's airing and the societal norms prevalent during that era. Dawson's behavior was largely perceived as affectionate and good-natured by many viewers, but the controversies surrounding the kissing incidents and alleged testing procedures reflected a shifting cultural landscape and evolving attitudes towards personal boundaries. While the kissing incidents and testing controversies remain a part of the show's history, Richard Dawson's legacy extends beyond those controversies. His charismatic hosting style, genuine interactions with contestants, and undeniable charm contributed significantly to the success and enduring popularity of Family Feud. He died in 2012, and while he is still highly respected, there has been renewed discussion regarding his practice of kissing on the show. Many feel it's the kissing that caused a decline in his career. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think this could happen on any other show today? Let us know in the comments section below.